But just yesterday, you had someone who's considering volunteering here. She arrived from France and she was coming. She's a teacher in France, but she's a main, you know, very much a mainstream school. And so when she showed up within one day, so I, we met her in the morning because she was come, arriving as we were leaving in the same vehicle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, and we said hi. And then we met her at dinner and she was amazed. She was amazed that the children were free. They didn't, they didn't take direction. They didn't need direction. Uh, we, we talked uh, for a while because it was really interesting because here's somebody from the mainstream and they, within one day, she understood that these kids were really operating in a fundamentally different way because they, they were free. You're right. And they knew what to do and when to, you know, they, they knew things. Yeah, yeah. And she was challenged because she's not sure she's needed here. <laughs> yeah. Because she's thinking in traditional teaching traditional terms. Sense. Oh, I will go there and what kind of responsibility, what I'm going to do, how am I going to play the role in... That doesn't happen here, you see. Exactly. Kids know what they're supposed to do and you have to also discover what you are supposed to do or what right. your role, you see. That's right. So it's not like, okay, there is a vacancy here and then we put somebody. It's about figuring out your own place. Everybody will find their place eventually in the ashram now. And uh, if there is someone missing, it's not like everything is going to collapse at the right, same time. Right, right? Right, right. And uh, that's the thing. Yeah, and that's the one thing I observed when I was working. I spent a year teaching psychology at the Village Free School. And, and I was watching kind of, and because I volunteered there at various times, I've seen many staff people come, kind of intern comes in, they spend six months there. And, and a lot of their time is trying to figure out what do I have to offer here, mm-hmm. you know? <laughs> and, and so I think it's actually a common theme in democratic schools is that you, you come in and you do have, to, in a way, democratic schools are structured for the adults in a challenging way because you have to figure out who are you and what do you have to offer here. I am. You know, it's not you're an expert and you get to do this. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? Now, now it's not that that doesn't exist, because like I said, yes. I came in, I offered psychology, and, and I got to teach it for a year. Mm-hmm. But that was because the kids asked for it, and I happened to be available to offer it. Right, right. This is the Agentic Schools Podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world, where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.